Greetings, this is Daniel Tal from Placemaker, and I'm going to talk about what's new in Placemaker 2.1, which we just released in this November. And we have a whole slew of new features that are worth going over, and some pretty big updates in what we're providing with this new version. Our biggest new feature is we now have over 124 million building, building footprints available for the entire United States. So with our previous version of Placemaker, we're using OpenStreetMap data, and there's a great set of buildings that come with it, but not universal coverage. Now with the US building set that we have access from courtesy of Microsoft, we have all the building volumes for the entire United States. And that's our goal is to give you more data options to quickly build your models. And we plan on integrating other buildings, footprints from other countries around the world over time. That's our next set of goals. So right now, if you're in the United States and using Placemaker, you can get all the 3D building volumes for pretty much any location, smallest town, biggest city. And that's a very good feature for us to have added as we continue to try to expand what we offer for users in terms of data. We have another video that explains the new building features in Placemaker since we have Buildings Global and Buildings USA. So go watch that video to learn more or check out our website at um, suplacemaker.com and check out the product page for Placemaker and you can learn more about the USA building footprints. Another new feature is that we've expanded the options of our high resolution aerials. So you can see we have digital globe aerials and we've added the premium option. Recently we had just recent, which are super high resolution aerials, but they're not color corrected. The premium option allows you to bring in color corrected, vibrant, cont well contrasted images. They're a little bit less quality than the recent aerials, but for my opinion, because they're color corrected, they actually seem to work a little bit better in terms of providing a level of detail. And this comes out of the box. If you purchase Placemaker, you have access to these premium aerials. I think they're for some select locations, but they actually have some pretty good global coverage around the world. And then don't forget, we also have the near map high resolution aerials. This is for select locations in the United States. These are seven centimeter aerials, super high quality, color corrected. Those require an in-app additional purchase of credits to use. But don't forget, check out the premium high resolution aerials that now come with Digital Globe, and we hope you use them. In version 2.1 of Placemaker, we now have an auto update feature. When you turn on SketchUp and you launch Placemaker, if there's a new, more current version, you'll get a notice to download it. You can see from the drop down menu, we have an auto, auto update option if you actually uncheck that it will not automatically go look for any new updates we recommend that you keep that on but we just wanted to make it easier to make sure you have the current version of placemaker since we're always tweaking it for example another tweak in version 2.1 is that draping roads and paths onto terrain has been increased as well and a couple other things we have the don't forget as part of placemaker you have the building bundle set of over 300 pre-made buildings that you can use in SketchUp for whatever your needs are. And we plan on expanding and modifying those in the future. And don't forget with your purchase of Placemaker, you also get access to video tutorials from danieltal.com. Over 15 hours of specific video tutorials for beginners to experts, to terrain, to rendering, to animation, to learning how to draft in SketchUp. So we're excited about version 2.1. Please go check it out. And let us know what you think, and we hope to provide you more options in the future.